Cajun cuisine, French, cuisine cadienne, cuisine cod -n, is a style of cooking named for the French-speaking Acadian people deported by the British from Acadia in Canada to the Acadiana region of Louisiana. It is what could be called a rustic cuisine, locally available ingredients predominate and preparation is simple. An authentic Cajun meal is usually a three-pot affair, with one pot dedicated to the main dish, one dedicated to steamed rice, special made sausages, or some seafood dish, and the third containing whatever vegetable is plentiful or available. Crawfish, shrimp, and andouille sausage are staple meats used in a variety of dishes. The aromatic vegetables green bell pepper poivron, onion, and celery are called the Holy Trinity by Cajun chefs in Cajun and Louisiana Creole cuisines. Roughly diced and combined in cooking, the method is similar to the use of the mirepoix in traditional French cuisine which blends roughly diced carrot, onion, and celery. Characteristic aromatics for the Creole version may also include parsley, bay leaf, green onions, dried cayenne pepper, and dried black pepper. History Around 1755, Acadians were forcibly deported by the British in 1755 in what was called La Grande Arrangement, eventually settling in southern Louisiana. Due to the extreme change in climate, Acadians were unable to cook their original dishes. Soon, their former culinary traditions were lost, and so, these other meals developed to become what is now considered classic Cajun cuisine traditions not to be confused with the more modern concept associated with Prudhomme's style. Up through the 20th century, the meals were not elaborate but instead, rather basic. The public's false perception of Cajun cuisine was based on Prudhomme's style of Cajun cooking, which was spicy, flavorful, and not true to the classic form of the cuisine. Cajun and Creole label have been mistaken to be the same, but the origins of Creole cooking began in New Orleans, and Cajun cooking came 40 years after the establishment of New Orleans down south on the bayou. Today, most restaurants serve dishes that consist of Cajun styles, which Paul Prudhomme dubbed, Louisiana cooking. In home cooking, these individual styles are still kept separate. However, there are fewer and fewer people cooking the classic Cajun dishes that would have been eaten by the original settlers. <laughs> Cajun cooking methods Barbecuing, similar to slow and low southern barbecue traditions, but with Creole, Cajun seasoning. Baking, direct and indirect dry heat in a furnace or oven, faster than smoking but slower than grilling. Grilling, direct heat on a shallow surface, fastest of all variants, sub-variants include Charbroiling, direct dry heat on a solid surface with wide raised ridges. Gridironing, direct dry heat on a solid or hollow surface with narrow raised ridges. Griddling, direct dry or moist heat along with the use of oils and butter on a flat surface. Braising, combining a direct dry heat charbroil grill or gridiron grill with a pot filled with broth for direct moist heat, faster than smoking but slower than regular grilling and baking, time starts fast, slows down, then speeds up again to finish. Boiling, as in boiling of crabs, crawfish, or shrimp, in seasoned liquid. Deep frying. Smothering, cooking a vegetable or meat with low heat and small amounts of water or stock, similar to braising. Etouffee is a popular variant done with crawfish or shrimp. Pan broiling or pan frying. Injecting, using a large syringe type setup to place seasoning deep inside large cuts of meat. This technique is much newer than the others on this list, but very common in Cajun country. Stewing, also known as fricassee, deep frying of turkeys or oven roasted turduckens entered southern Louisiana cuisine more recently. Also, blackening of fish or chicken and barbecuing of shrimp in the shell are excluded because they were not prepared in traditional Cajun cuisine. Blackening was actually an invention by Chef Paul Prudhomme in the 1970s, becoming associated with Cajun cooking, and presented as such by him, but is not a true historical or traditional Cajun cooking process. Ingredients <inaudible> 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 The following is a partial list of ingredients used in Cajun cuisine and some of the staple ingredients of the Acadian food culture. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Grains. 
Corn Rice Long, medium, or short grain white, also popcorn rice. Rice proved to be a valuable commodity in early Cajun country. With an abundance of water and a hot, humid climate, rice could be grown practically anywhere in the region and grew wild in some areas. Rice became the predominant starch in the diet, easy to grow, store and prepare. The oldest rice mill in operation in the United States, the Conrad Rice Mill, is located in New Iberia. Wheat for baking bread. <laughs> Fruits and vegetables Topic. Meat and seafood Cajun folkways include many ways of preserving meat, some of which are waning due to the availability of refrigeration and mass-produced meat at the grocer. Smoking of meats remains a fairly common practice, but once common preparations such as turkey or duck confit preserved in poultry fat, with spices are now seen even by Acadians as quaint rarities. Game and hunting are still uniformly popular in Acadiana. The recent increase of catfish farming in the Mississippi Delta has brought about an increase in its usage in Cajun cuisine in the place of the more traditional wild-caught trout the saltwater species and red fish. <laughs> <laughs> Seasonings Thyme, sage, mint, marjoram, savory, and basil are considered sweet herbs. In colonial times a herbs de Provence would be several sweet herbs tied up in a muslin. <inaudible> <inaudible> Blended Creole, Cajun spice. Blends such as Tony Saturi's and Rex King of Spice are sometimes used in Cajun kitchens, but do not suit every cook's style because Creole, Cajun style seasoning is often achieved from scratch, even by taste. Cajun seasonings consist of a blend of salt with a variety of spices, most common being cayenne pepper and garlic. The spicy heat comes from the cayenne pepper, while other flavors come from bell pepper, paprika, green onions, parsley and more. Hot sauce that includes Tabasco sauce that by 1885 was well known in Louisiana and abroad. Seafood boil mix Vinegar seasoned with small, pickled, hot green peppers is a common condiment with many Cajun meals. Persilade Marinades made with olive oil, brown sugar, and citrus juices Various barbecue rubs similar to those in other states. Worcestershire sauce Topic. Cooking bases Dark roux, the Cajuns inherited the roux from the French. However, unlike the French, it is made with oil or bacon fat and more lately olive oil, however, not normally with butter. It is used as a thickening agent, especially in gumbo and étouffée. Preparation of a dark roux is probably the most involved or complicated procedure in Cajun cuisine, involving heating fat and flour very carefully, constantly stirring for about 15 to 45 minutes depending on the color of the desired product, until the mixture has darkened in color and developed a nutty flavor. The temperature should not be too high, as a burnt roux renders a dish unpalatable. Light roux, the secret to making a good gumbo is pairing the roux with the protein. A dark roux, with its strong, dense, nutty flavor will completely overpower a simple seafood gumbo, but is the perfect complement to a gumbo using chicken, sausage, crawfish or alligator. A light roux, on the other hand, is better suited for strictly seafood dishes and unsuitable for meat gumbos for the reason that it does not support the heavier meat flavor as well. Pairing roux with protein follows the same orthodox philosophy as pairing wine with protein. Stocks, Cajun stocks are more heavily seasoned than continental counterparts, and the shellfish stock sometimes made with shrimp and crawfish heads is unique to Cajun cuisine. Fish stock and court bouillon Shellfish stock Chicken stock Topic. Cajun dishes Three popular local dishes in Acadiana are noted in the Hank Williams song Jambalaya, namely, Jambalaya and a crawfish pie and filet gumbo. Topic. Primary favorites 
Boudin is a type of sausage made from pork, pork liver, rice, garlic, green onions and other spices. It is widely available by the link or pound from butcher shops. Boudin is typically stuffed in a natural casing and has a softer consistency than other, better known sausage varieties. It is usually served with side dishes such as rice dressing, maquet chou or bread. Boudin balls are commonly served in southern Louisiana restaurants and are made by taking the boudin out of the case and frying it in spherical form. Gumbo, high on the list of favorites of Cajun cooking are the soups called gumbos. Contrary to non-Cajun or continental beliefs, gumbo does not mean simply, everything in the pot. Gumbo exemplifies the influence of French, Spanish, African and Native American food cultures on Cajun cuisine. The name originally meant okra, a word brought to the region from Western Africa. Okra which can be one of the principal ingredients in gumbo recipes is used as a thickening agent and for its distinct vegetable flavor. Many claim that gumbo is a Cajun dish, but gumbo was established long before the Acadian arrival. Its early existence came via the early French Creole culture in New Orleans, Louisiana, where French, Spanish and Africans frequented and also influenced by later waves of Italian, German and Irish settlers. A filet gumbo is thickened with dried sassafras leaves after the stew has finished cooking, a practice borrowed from the Choctaw Indians. The backbone of a gumbo is roux of which there are two variations, Cajun, a golden brown roux, and Creole, a dark roux, which is made of flour, toasted until well browned, and fat or oil. The classic gumbo is made with chicken and the Cajun sausage called andouille, pronounced on but the ingredients vary according to what is available. Jambalaya, another classic Cajun dish is jambalaya. The only certain thing that can be said about a jambalaya is that it contains rice, some sort of meat such as chicken or beef, seafood such as shrimp or crawfish or almost anything else. Usually, however, one will find green peppers, onions, celery, tomatoes and hot chili peppers. Anything else is optional. This is also a great pre-Acadian dish, established by the Spanish in Louisiana. Rice and gravy. Rice and gravy dishes are a staple of Cajun cuisine and is usually a brown gravy based on pan drippings, which are deglazed and simmered with extra seasonings and served over steamed or boiled rice. The dish is traditionally made from cheaper cuts of meat and cooked in a cast iron pot, typically for an extended time period in order to let the tough cuts of meat become tender. Beef, pork, chicken or any of a large variety of game meats are used for its preparation. Popular local varieties include hamburger steak, smothered rabbit, turkey necks, and chicken fricassee. Topic: <inaudible> Food as an event. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Crawfish boil. The crawfish boil is a celebratory event where Cajuns boil crawfish, potatoes, onions and corn in large pots over propane cookers. Lemons and small muslin bags containing a mixture of bay leaves, mustard seeds, cayenne pepper, and other spices, commonly known as crab boil or crawfish boil, are added to the water for seasoning. The results are then dumped onto large, newspaper-draped tables and in some areas covered in Creole, Cajun spice blends, such as Rex, Zatarans, Louisiana fish fry, or Tony Saturis. Also, cocktail sauce, mayonnaise, and hot sauce are sometimes used. The seafood is scooped onto large trays or plates and eaten by hand. During times when crawfish are not abundant, shrimp and crabs are prepared and served in the same manner. Attendees are encouraged to suck the head of a crawfish by separating the abdomen of the crustacean and sucking out the abdominal fat, juices. Often, newcomers to the crawfish boil or those unfamiliar with the traditions are jokingly warned, not to eat the dead ones. This comes from the common belief that when live crawfish are boiled, their tails curl beneath themselves, but when dead crawfish are boiled, their tails are straight and limp. Seafood boils with crabs and shrimp are also popular. Topic. Family boucherie The traditional Cajun outdoor food event hosted by a farmer in the rural areas of the Acadiana. Family and friends of the farmer gather to socialize, play games, dance, drink, and have a copious meal consisting of hog and other dishes. Men have the task of slaughtering a hog, cutting it into usable parts, and cooking the main pork dishes while women have the task of making boudin. 
Topic: <laughs> Cochon delay. Similar to a family boucherie, the cochon delay is a food event that revolves around pork but does not need to be hosted by a farmer. Traditionally, a suckling pig was purchased for the event, but in modern cochon delays, adult pigs are used. Unlike the family boucherie, a hog is not butchered by the hosts and there are generally not as many guests or activities. The host and male guests have the task of roasting the pig, see pig roast while female guests bring side dishes. Rural Mardi Gras The traditional Cajun Mardi Gras is a Mardi Gras celebration in rural Cajun parishes. The tradition originated in the 18th century with the Cajuns of Louisiana, but it was abandoned in the early 20th century because of unwelcome violence associated with the event. In the early 1950s the tradition was revived in Mamou in Evangeline Parish. The event revolves around male maskers on horseback who ride into the countryside to collect food ingredients for the party later on. They entertain householders with Cajun music, dancing, and festive antics in return for the ingredients. The preferred ingredient is a live chicken in which the householder throws the chicken to allow the maskers to chase it down, symbolizing a hunt, but other ingredients include rice, sausage, vegetables, or frozen chicken. Unlike other Cajun events, men take no part in cooking the main course for the party, and women prepare the chicken and ingredients for the gumbo. Once the festivities begin, the Cajun community members eat and dance to Cajun music until midnight, as the beginning of Lent. Other dishes and sides Alligator meat Andouille sausage Boiled crawfish Boudin balls, boudin sausage filling that is rolled into a ball, battered and deep fried, instead of being stuffed into pork casings. Brochette Creole rice Catfish or redfish court bouillon Cochon de lait Couche couche Creole corn mush Crawfish bisque Crawfish étouffée Crawfish pie Creole cream cheese and Creole cream cheese ice cream Crepe Dirty rice Etouffee Fried frog legs Gumbo zerbs Hogshead cheese Maquet choux Pecan pralines Pepper jelly Potato salad, generally made with egg, potato, celery, onions, mayonnaise, mustard and sometimes bell pepper Sauce piquant shrimp, alligator, turtle, and so on. Seafood stuffed merletin Tart a la bouli sweet dough custard tarts. Tasso ham Poutine creole a traditional Sunday supper deriving from the French buff bourguignon, but served with a thick gravy from which it derives its name, poutine, meaning pudding. Served over white rice, the stewed beef is smothered in gravy. Topic. List of Cajun-influenced chefs John Fols John Besh Emeril Lagasse Paul Prudhomme Justin Wilson Chef K.D. Kevin Diaz Topic. See also Cuisine of New Orleans Cuisine of the United States List of festivals in Louisiana Louisiana Creole cuisine